Hi, I'm Dr. Albert Hakem, Chair of the Department of Surgery at the Mayo Clinic in Florida. Today I'd like to discuss varicose veins and spider veins and their treatment. As you can see here, most superficial veins begin at the long saphenous vein. In addition, perforating veins and tributary veins, which begin at the saphenous vein, can contribute to varicose veins. Saphenous insufficiency results in these secondary varicose veins, which can become painful, can result in phlebitis, and can also cause venous ulceration. In the past, treatment of these veins consisted of vein stripping and physically tying off these veins. The valves in the veins normally function to only allow blood to flow toward the heart and to stop blood from flowing toward the ankle. As the vein becomes dilated, the valve leaflets no longer function and vein pressure builds toward the ankle. Instead of vein stripping, we've been using endovenous ablation catheters, either radiofrequency or laser, in over 1,000 patients with excellent results. These procedures are outpatient procedures and result in resumption of normal activities the following day. A preoperative ultrasound is required to map the vein to look at the vein valves and the vein depth. And this information is submitted to your insurance carrier prior to the procedure being approved. Small ablation catheters are also used to treat the perforating veins individually and to therefore avoid any ligation incisions. Here we see examples of sclerotherapy which are performed in the office as an outpatient procedure. For more information or to make an evening appointment, please call the Mayo Clinic Florida Vassar Center at 904-953-2077. Thank you.